And they're going to go with the Cancel Sniper. Okay, I can appreciate that. Remember, we used to get Zeus up against that stuff, and oh, maybe you think, oh, well, Zeus is kind of cool, right? We have a Bat Rider. No, they have a Pugna. You can't pick Zeus into that. Are you crazy? What if the Nether Ward's down? You're not going to do anything. Well, but now Sox is over here. He's like, okay, you dealt with him. But uh, still a pretty handy guy to have this one. Oh, that actually happened! No! <laughs> Socks are coming through the mid lane. Okay, well, we won't miss this one. Weeha will, though. At least with the roll. Can they clean him up during the decrep? They can't. See, why even bother watching? It's getting a turn around. Weeha takes the ulti. TP in from Fata. Literally, Cancel has never played Sniper before in his life. Literally? This guy's saying literally. It must be true. All right. Well, good luck, Cancel. Observer Ward is right on top of him. Look at him. He's smaller than the Observer Ward. He's going to get decrapped up. The support's a little far away. Oh, oh my god. He's not even needed. Yeah, so it tries to come in. He's going to get to keep his smoke. It's value. Oh, that's not, that's not good news for Cancel. So, what do we have here? Level 4? Oh, okay. Yeah, and 3 in the decrap. Wasn't sure if he had the value point in the Nether Ward. This is pretty scary, man. You're on 800 HP. Okay, they must have seen the Invis rune. I guess it must have been bought. It doesn't even matter, though. It just comes in from behind, Fata. No, well, it's okay. He's got a tango left. Cancel able to pull himself through. And now Tomato with the rotation. It's going to bring through Kezu as well. All right, this is the cleanup kill. It's going to get everybody back into the game. But they rotate four heroes. Now puts a little bit of pressure on you to do something. And speaking of rotations... All right, we're smoked up. Kez is going to look for something. He is a lasso, but look, look at this. These Veto Wards, man. You want to play into this? It's terrible. All right, he's got to find the angle. He's doing a little bit of math here on Kez. He's trying to find his way around the wards, and successfully, Weehaw's able to roll on through. And uh, they're not going to be able to send him home in time. Kezu chasing, but they're way too far away. Oh, zoom in, Trent. Zoom in. Okay, I got it, guys. All right, Tomato's out of here. Obviously, you can do a little bit of a catch and stuff with some of his creeps, but anyway, do you guys see how gross that Veil plus Aether is? Damn, it's the last tap from Ace will get the kill. But Ace probably going to pay for it here. Just going to hold him in place with the Winner's Curse. Make sure they're going to... Oh, the Decrep, though. And they actually don't have another Assassinate. There's no more rotations coming through. He's going to live. All right, he's getting probably a little bit worried. It's down bottom. He's also worried. Lasso comes out. They're going to have the sun to follow up, too. They are going to get down that mid one Pugna. That's the biggest kill for them. But then they just have to run. That's the state of this game for them. All the chat. Uh, Venomancer. Eh. He's dead. Okay. Two quick pickups here. Mid or feed. Uh, but, I mean, Sven still gets picked a lot, but... There was a time, like, around Manila Masters, where, like, every game just revolved around ancient stacks on whatever hero, right? TA was in, like, every game. And so people were just picking heroes that could help contest stacks. As they're going on to Yapsor. Oh, they're also on to Sox at the same time, though. Mid one grabs that kill. We're watching the initiation down there. Now he's going to turn it right back around on the Weeha. Ooh, nice little sprout block just to make sure. Trying to grab some of these lanes. Oh, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Light of Heaven, pinging the shrine. I hope you kept your bingo cards from the other day. It's back. Anyway, stomp. Look at those little chain stunts. Mm. Poppy takes the kill at the very end there, too. With the nuke. I can appreciate that. So this would be like a, a Chen strat, right? What, what are we doing with here? You can test the faith people. Yeah, okay. This sounds good. Ace just gets assassinated. So the bonus damage, we can get up to 36%, right? Okay. Let's go with that. See if that'll work out. But first kill right away on the cancel. And Weehaw's just in here. He's just in the swarm, dude. There's just there's just nothing to deal. All right, Socks up from the backside. There should be a really nice Winner's Curse here. So many opportunities trying to find something. Kezu with the lasso. It's on top of mid one. They need to bring him down. There it is. The Winner's Curse on top of mid one. Already going to double kill. Puppy's on a killing spree. Mid one's still alive. They're looking for Tomato in the back line. This is your big heavy hitter. He might even die inside the well. Is he going to go down? Oh, that's not the well. That is not the well. Oh, no, Tomato. We all goes down in the end. It's a triple kill for mid one. Oh, uh, mid one. You're inside the base, dude. He doesn't even have the Dagon yet. Look at the plays this guy's making. Why even bother buying it at this point? You might as well just go straight for the Aghanims. You don't need a Dagon. 
<laughs> yeah, plenty of damage right now. All right, Kezu, he's back. He's got no lasso, though, so Fata's not in too much trouble here. Oh, maybe he is. They got the roll. All right, kick. It's the boulder coming through. He's going to hit a lot of two, then through as well with the three-man silence. Damn, we hot. Looks good, man, but I don't know. Yip's coming pretty deep for it. Ace is just throwing wards on top of you. Got to zoom in. We're going to zoom in. All right, Tomato. He's looking for something, but uh, there's a Chen creep on him. He can't blink. Well, that's obnoxious, puppy. Oh, he's invis, though, and they're going to try and make a play. Weehan needs to turn this around or make some sort of a save. Oh, kick comes through. Stops the ulti. Oh, but yeah, Sore, he's got the Yule Scepter. Dagon Dawn up. Weehan's going to have to try and roll himself up. Oh, he doesn't get quite far enough. Yeah, it'll be okay. Oh, we, uh, we're we looking after Saxa. They need a Venom Ward, though. It's on CD. So they're going to chase after the, sil the uh, Sniper instead. Roll comes through, and kick once again, not really able to save anyone. And that's going to be two heroes down. Sven with no buyback, but, I mean, he needs a BKB anyway. He really can't afford to buy back at this point. Cancel, however, will. Yeah, so just spamming ulties, throwing out some mana. And we're going to find a lasso. That will be on top of mid one. This is the good pick. This guy without the Aegis. Kezu kind of sneaks one in there while they're all standing in a bit of a clump. Ulties out here from Ace. Mid one, there's no sort of a, uh, a buyback play or anything that he wants to attempt here. Mostly because he doesn't have the money for it. Uh, Saxa, oh, he might actually go down. He does die before he can actually get into the well. Tomato will grab that kill, though. We still have the Aegis, and that's a die back onto the Sniper. Now pressing forward, it's Ace. He's level 20 right now, and he's a Hurricane Pike to keep away that comboed up Sven. Nether Ward, an obnoxious skill. Okay, they see Tomato. That's who they're going to have to go on instead then. So, there's the Witness Curse. Nice play by Socks. It'll come and Glimmer caped up like that, but it's Weeha inside. Calming up on everyone with the Sven. That's three down. There's a last on the back line. They've grabbed Ace and dragged him on in. This is the high ground defense they're worried about. Mid one comes out from the Aegis, but they get Fox on the back. Now, they're going to try and chase on the Tomato, though. They want this grab. He does have the buyback, so can pull it if he has to, but with so many people dead on the rating, he probably doesn't need to. Oh, but Fado's going to try and force it by buying back himself. Now he's inside the base, gets the buyback that he wanted outside of the Sven, but Fata is going to be a dieback for you. It is indeed. Now chasing onto mid one, too. Oh, he's looking for Soxa, and he's going to get silenced up after he grabs the kill, but Ace flying through, tries to get the save using the Gale. Not going to find that time. We, what do you got on top of you? A little bit of Poison Sting gets an extra one. Oh, they're chasing after Ace, though. Kezu? Looks like it's uh, a bit too far for you. You're out of lasso anyway. And oh man, that was without a Daedalus. Jeez, he was already swinging pretty damn hard. Lasso. On to Puppy. It's grabbed up. Now Weeha again trying to set up for the Sven. He gets in here. There's no blink cancels this time. There's going to be the heal. Saving out Yapsor. Jeez, can't even tell what's Yapsor and what's a mid one inside that. Ah, well, they can't tell too much when they're both dead either. Cleave through, crit through. And they are going to be Gale though. Speaking of crit, Soxa will survive on the Winter Wyvern. And Tomato, he's looking for it. There's the cheese. Weeha just kind of bumbling around here, trying to get off some spells, but everything's on cooldown. And Soxa, he goes down, but he helps grab another kill there before he does onto Fada. Kezu will get the credit because they pick him up early, and then you're like kind of denying out certain heroes that you don't want to see in the off lane because Venomancer can just zone out anyone. Uh, and then they go back for a core to counter someone else, but. While we talk about Venomancer, uh, he's being gone on. He's pretty tanky. He has the BKB. Gotta pop the ulti. Fata comes through. Silence up as well. Kezu coming through with that BKB. Flame break. And now Weeha. Glimmered up. Okay, it's just a lot of damage. All right, mid one will zap down Kezu. Now Yapso's here as well. Stunning up. Still has the BKB on the Sven. They need to be careful. Winner's Curse gonna hold Fata in place, but they can't hurt him right now. And Tomato's just kind of waiting for it. Ace has gotten another kill there onto Weeha. And now Fata, he saved the Decrep, sent home, and it's Tomato in trouble. That's the dieback. Cancel. You're going to be chased down as well. Uh-oh. That's the GG. Yeah. The diebacks were too much. It, you got to call it an impressive hold, though. There's no question about that. Yeah, sort. Got him. High ground kill to finish it off. 29 to 17. That's not a mid one MK, that's a mid one Templar Assassin. What are you talking about, Trent? It's the Tomato Monkey King. Sorry. Apologies. Why am I even awake? It's Sunday morning! For God's sake, why did we have to reschedule for such a ridiculous time? Uh, Tomato on the Anti Mage, and Ace on the Monkey King, because he is on Team Secret. See, I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. It's fine. 
Soxa, though. He's getting the punches off. Relatively squishy. Oh, has to use the balance strike trying to stun, like, the little bit of, like, a hitbox behind you, but doesn't end up working out for him. That's going to be first blood for the anti-mage. Lane recovered. 12 last hits, 3 denies, 3 heroes here. Doesn't even matter. I guess Yapsor wasn't there, technically, so... Uh, we'll go down there maybe in a minute. Oh, a little Fisher block here. And we are going to be zoned out with the brain sap as well. Just some punches. We don't have to go back there, I don't think. Oh, oh, but Puck. Ugh. Are you okay? Yeah, he's fine. Ah, uh, he's not okay over there, though. You know, there's three people going on. Eh, what can you do? Weeha goes down eventually. We, we did get there, but... Well, Sox is going to be able to investigate where the sentries are here. Is there any for himself, though? Is there one on Weeha? There is not. He's in the mid lane, though. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the second I set to click down there. Oh, they find Sox again. We know the sentry is close, but he can't quite get outside the range in time. Not gonna be successful. Cause it's probably down bottom with the haste rune. Sees the puck. Of course, hasted Bane with no fiend's grip. Not much you can do, and well, with supports coming through, Bane, he's pretty far away. He's gonna try and get himself here, and the ambulance is coming, but it's not gonna be here in time for mid one. Tries to fairy fire through it, but won't be enough healing. Two points in the nature's guys. Secured. Nicely done. Damn. Owned. Decrep Fisher Blast. You, you do everything you can, right? You can't let these towers go down early. He's got two points in the living armor now. Oh, even if you save your towers, though, it might cost you hero socks. Not coming through as well, but the trees actually go down thanks to the Rubik, but he leaves one tree there, and so they'll be able to keep the root. That was a bit risky. Oh, Monkey King is here. I Yeah, they would not have been able to see that. They have no idea he's all the way up here. All right, guys, I've deciphered the line. It was this way. Monkey King has rotated. He's not currently empowered. Kezu's uh, empowering himself. He's up to the four points, though. Oh, Dream Call in the mid lane on top of mid one. Has the Desolator and Soxa trying to survive, but he will be the sacrificial lamb. Oh, goes to the Fiend's Grip, but there's going to be a phase shift there. Now Ace throws out the ulti. It's way up onto that high ground, and they do eventually grab Cancel with the help of the Fisher. They'll bring him down. There's a stolen Wukong's command from the Monkey King, and it gets canceled once, but Weeha does eventually get it out there. Can't find the damn. Jeez. Uh, Venn diagram of death here in the mid lane, but. He's ready to go. He's ready to save this game single-handedly. Cancel scouts it out. This will be the YouTube video you watch every day for years for the new The Play, as it's the Dire coming through, looking for the play. Mid one still in the pit. There's an Atos to start. They're slowing down Soxa. He doesn't have ulti for the big wombo combo that we need for this to become an epic play, remembered for all time in the history of Dota 2. And so I don't know if we're going to get it. Kezu looking for it. Wukong's command of zone. He's inside. There's the RP. It's on to a couple. Mid one brought back out. The Echo Slam on Thomas from Yasuo for the counter initiation, though. Oh no, Soxa throws out a heal. It's all they can do. The anti mage throws out the ulti, but Fata's still alive. The Pugna survives. He hangs down the Rubik, too. They all live. Oh. Okay, we're still going to get the YouTube play for all time, but it's actually for the Radiant. Because they're going to keep Roche. They're up 6k. Monkey King cleans up the most with 775, and four heroes are dead for the Dire. Oh, the plays. Oh, bottom lane. Soxa. Oh, eliminated. Yeah, still safe from the decrep. Some great synergy there in the draft. Oh. <laughs> Tower went down. They deny bottom. And now they press forward to grab one more for themselves. As this train protector is dead. Tower won't be saved. Weeha, not so taunty now, is he? Ato stop. Stunned. Sucked dry. And dead. This is the efficiency plays that you get yelled at if you don't do, so I'm impressed. Oh, another living armor. Alright, he's like, wait, this guy's got to be around here somewhere. They're going to try and make some play to save this tower. I knew it. There he is. And they get the kill. Ace turning up. After that top lane, 7-2-4. and four. Fata back top. Oh, well, he goes to push away the AM. Now Kezu's in. Oh, the nightmare! Mid-RP from Puffy! Oh, the catapult does clean up the tower, but Kez is going to pay for it. Meanwhile, bottom lane. Whoop. They found Rubik. Oh, the T-Tour strikes again. Knoxville production. All right. We're going to be able to take this one down, too. The creeps are coming soon. Mid one, will you stay? I mean, that's a lot of time to stick around just for a tower. Yeah, mid one's okay with that, it looks like. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, my God. He doesn't even... Where is he? There he is. Okay. I didn't even see the puck and all that. Sorry. Hero portraits. My bad. Okay. Oh, they're going to get it. 
Kezu tries to get forward. Ooh, Ace. Jeez, that was actually really close to him dying. And tower is down. Oh, this train protector's in the sad zone. It's not even worth saying, is it? It's just sad at this point. Quick annihilation. But yeah, basically, they held out for a while. Um, how's the holdout this game? Uh, it is an AM and an anime mage, right? You have these games where it looks like it's over. Oh, hey, look at this. They're smoked up behind the end, but the Fisher actually catches those hiding in the back. Kezu still waiting, looking for his big RP play, but he doesn't have a four staff. He only has the blink dagger, so he can't make any play up the side here. And that means cancel is just gonna die. It looked good. I see what they were trying to do. They're all smoked up in behind, but the Fisher catches a few that were smoked up there. And so the bait was unsuccessful. Alright. Okay, Kezu. Shadow Amulet plays. Eh, but he's suddenly over on the other side. He was here, guys. I swear. I had him. I had him just a second ago. Okay, there's the RP. Bringing him back near the tier 4s. Buyback from the Rubik. We are looking to do something. But there's the Echo Slam from Yapsor on top of Kezu. He's dead. No buyback. Yapsor going to have a Fisher here in a second still. And they're still diving deeper. We are in trouble. Ace might go for a play here. Let's look for the jump. He's not going to do it. They're chilling out. Back, back, back. Get the towers. Mid one just absolutely slaying the past two days. Oh, and there's another one. Like, look at the long range stun they have against this puck. It's actually so good. Because if he tries to use Orb to make any sort of escape play, he's going to get Boundless Striked or Fissured every single time. We've seen Jakiro has been doing the same thing lately. It's interesting to see people find these like long range stuns to try and deal with them. That's how they just decrep into the Fisher and God bless it's a 2-0 and my solo cast journey is over oh golly G Wilkers Batman well I hope you all enjoyed the wonderful journey that was Trent's basement production ah, I know I did